to start us off, we've got the three ideas, the rainforest, with the girl dancing, the guy at the desk of the warehouse, with uh, dancers in another location, and then this one with the boy wedding and the uh, ballerina and orchestra outdoors in the forest. I like the one with the boy running. I feel like that could be quite nice. And it, that, I think it'd be less boring because you've got a lot of things going on and a lot of scenes and also a lot of movement. But the only thing that I would say, the, the one in the where, warehouse, where would the dancers be? The one in, the warehouse? in the warehouse as well, but like different to... Okay. No, I was just wondering if yeah. you're going to have different scenes or not. I could do, yeah. No, I, just, I think the, the boy running one to be good because it changes it up a lot. Yeah, just a couple of really, really good points in what Tom just said. One about having different scenes in different locations yeah. helps you cut from one to the other and stop it becoming really crazy. And the other one, the really good point you make, is having the, the movement in the scenes and having things happening and moving, again, makes it more interesting to look at. If you've got someone sitting still, like you mentioned, Phil, the guy, if he's just sitting there, that can be really good if they're an amazing kind of look and musician or stuff like that. That can get very static and still. And having some movement does give you a lot more uh, kind of variation in the, in the footage. So those are really good points there. Uh, yes, Phil? I like the second one where, um, which a track, like I think it, it works quite well with the warehouse. Like it's quite raw and um, I think that could work. Okay. Um, yeah, I like the, or did, oh yeah, I like the boy <laughs> running one as well. Yeah, it just looks quite cool with Liz. Loads of different people in there doing very different things in the woods and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, you know, those sort of things can be a little bit surreal and definitely having kind of different elements that, you know, it does help if they tie together in, on some level, I think. Um, but, you know, like a song has different instruments and stuff and tying together with different ingredients that sort of, you know, that can work. It can be kind of surreal and strange. Normally, in some ways, there is a kind of link between them. They're not normally just sort of three random things. Mm. So I would think about how they fit together and why, and do you know what I mean? And sort of that would be important, I think. Adrian? The last one, the boy running. Um, I was wondering, would you do the forest bit in an actual forest, or would it be...? Yeah. Um, okay, so for that you would have a big problem with the ballerina. Ballerinas dan have to dance on a very, very specific floor, especially if they're, if they're doing it on point. Yeah, yeah they could do, they have a mat on the ground. Uh, uh, still, it's not, it's not gonna be leveled. And ballet shoes, those shoes are highly expensive. And the, the other thing to say as well with that, and it's um, the other thing that's true for that as well, is if you imagine you're seeing the woods, like the picture you've got, mm -hmm. you start being matting and stuff, it starts to look, like you know, you've taken a mat and